So we went to Blackpool, uh, our first extended tour. After Plopsaland, we went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in England, the eighth park on this Halloween tour. We're talking about our, our coaster breaks tour, our first tour that we did together. And on our itinerary video, we talked about going to the UK parks after we finish our our original tour. So basically everything started when we were in Fantasia land. And I was telling Marcus how much I wanted to do Nemesis for the final day. Marcus obviously wanted to do that too. So we were planning to go on Sunday and Marcus was like, what are we doing on Saturday then? Because the, our tour ended on a Friday. So this is how we ended up from Plopsaland to Blackpool. Blackpool for me was all about the atmosphere, was our, my first UK uh, city. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the first time that I was going to the UK. And I just, I loved it. I think um, Blackpool is not a place that you go uh, mainly for the rides itself, not, nothing there were like, oh, my top 10. Uh, but it's such a cool park, such a cool atmosphere. And it's not only the park is what it's surrounded. So we went to the velvet coaster after to the park on the, on the pier. So I think it's the whole thing that made our day there. And I just, I loved it. Yeah. I, I love going to Blackpool. Um, it's, I don't care if I don't get to ride the rides. I just like the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I think the best example really is, um, like Blackpool opening weekend is a great weekend. So I've been a couple of times. Gabby's going to experience opening weekend for her first time next year. So I'm looking forward to taking you to that. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Um, because it is a really good atmosphere and everyone's just really happy. And then you do get to go on the rides and that's, that's the bonus to me of Blackpool. Mm -hmm. Um, and they do have some really good classic rides. Like yes. the wooden coasters. <laughs> I, I love wooden coasters and yes they are rough but yeah and uh, but you haven't experienced Big Dipper yet you've just done the Grand Nationals yeah. and the Nickelodeon streak the Blue streak um, so I'm looking forward to when you get to go on that because that was being renovated when we went yeah um, as well as Van Halen yeah, as was Valhalla, so we're still yet to do that together. So now that they've just reopened, hopefully they'll be both open for opening day next year as well. Um, and then you have like the newer rides, such as obviously the first new ride being, I would class big one being like the new Blackpool, um, being the tallest coaster in the UK when it opened. Good first drop, monorail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then Icon as well is a great different type of ride uh it's not my type of ride it meanders quite a lot um but it's engineered so well to fit mm -hmm. into the park so it's like this really cool mixture of old rides new rides that just kind of work well in this quirky atmosphere. revolution is my favorite <laughs> so yeah i think icon it was a little bit weak i know a lot of people love it um it's it is a good ride but i don't know revolution was uh, a really good surprise for me and Europe what is the thing that they say like you're about to experience the 360 <laughs> degrees loop backwards <laughs> yeah. I, I, I so I just love revolution it's a great ride he has some really good forces uh the loop is amazing um yeah, revolu uh, the airtime going off. Yeah, the, the airtime so, so good. Yeah, revolution might be my favorite platform as well. Well, Avalanche, the bobsled coaster, bobsled coaster is good. It's What's just, my first bobsled coaster? Just a really nice mixture it. of rides, but it's the atmosphere that yeah. just, just brings it all together. One of my favorite rides on Blackpool was the ghost train. Yeah. I love this old ghost trains and this is the oldest train. Yeah, the but, oldest ghost train in the world. But it, it has been redone yeah. some parts. So it has some really old and classic parts of a ghost train, but with new things as well. And I don't know, it's really it's good. good. Yeah, it's just, it's filled with so much stuff. Um, and it's, yeah, make sure you check it out. It's a bit of history as well. So always check it out, the ghost train when you're there. Wallace and Gromit, you can never forget about Wallace and Gromit when you're at Blackpool. Um, you can't get much more traditional than Wallace and Gromit for the UK. Alice in Wonderland, the other dark ride. Yeah. Oh, one of these weird dark rides that I love. Yeah, and uh, River, River Caves. It's like Fatima Ghana at Efteling, except with a lower budget. 
Um, but I like river caves. It's I just, like it too. It's a fun little indoor ride. I always go on that when I'm there. It's relaxing. Make sure to check out the Tahabi races as well. I don't know. They're just so much fun. You're just on the horses spinning around. Yeah. Um, and then we talking of horses. Uh, there oh, yeah. The steeple chase steeple as well. Chaser. Three credits. Uh, I only had one because the other yeah. two were shut. <laughs> but it's so much fun. I, I realized that that was wrong because we were racing. So two of them were open. Yeah. And then they yes. shut the other two. Yeah, yeah, we were racing when we went there. Yeah, we were. I won. Okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we were, yeah, you won on the race. <laughs> and then they closed the other one and they still remained. The, oh. the, the one that was open was the one that I've done. He already had all the three credits. So now I need to go back there. Opening weekend, here we go. Yeah, so in the end of the day, um, there was the fireworks. Yeah, we were there on um, bonfire night. Uh-huh. And then we went to the Velvet Coaster, that is the uh, bar. Weather spoons. Vel yeah, we started the day at the Velvet Coaster having a traditional British breakfast because, of course, it was my first day in the UK. Yeah. So I needed to do something traditional. Weather spoon style, definitely. <laughs> and then we went to the park, spent the day at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, then back to Velvet Coaster to have some beers at the end of the day. And we ended up in the slingshot. Yeah. <laughs> The, the pier, uh, the park pier in the front, we got the credit there, we did the slingshot, it was so cool, it's such a good vibe, then back to Velvet Coaster for more beers. And then and back to the pier for another go on the waltz. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the waltzes are amazing. Yeah, they are, they are some of the I, best waltzes I, there. It was my, I love spinning flat rides and that was one my favourite, yeah, I think it's my favourite. the waltzes, that's one of the best ones as well. Oh, they're so good there. Yeah, they spin so much. It was so funny because there was, I never seen this before. There was a, like a ride operator was walking, like spinning people around while the ride, while the ride was going. I, I think it's so yeah. funny to see that. And it was so good to have like an, an extra spin because there was someone like trying harder to make it. <laughs> Boost mode. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. I mean, I'm looking forward to go back to Blackpool opening weekend. I know that uh, that is going to be like a great vibe. I have loved Blackpool. I can't wait to go again. And on the next day, we went to, of course, Auton Towers for Nemesis last day. So make sure to subscribe to check this video after. Stay tuned in the next episode to see where we're going next.